What is going on, everybody? Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of a walkthrough on the news that's going on in MMA today. To start, Israel Adesanya versus Robert Whitaker, the rematch is hopefully going to be scheduled in January. MMA Junkie reported in an article that Dana White said that the plan is to have the UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya run things back with former champion Robert Whitaker in January. After an interim title fight win against middleweight contender Calvin Gastelum, Israel Adesanya became the undisputed middleweight champion at UFC 243 against Robert Whitaker. Obviously, this fight would be added to a list of seriously high caliber fights running from October to January. Peter Yan versus Aljo rematch. A week after that, there's a highly anticipated rematch with Kamara Usman facing off against Colby Covington. On that card, you also have the Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler fight. Rose Namajunas versus Zhang Wei Li. There's a, that's obviously a huge card. That's in November. They're targeting the Dustin Poirier versus Charles Oliveira title fight at 155 for December. And then you have rumors of this fight happening in January as well as the Francis Ngannou fight happening in January. Maybe those two fights will end up on the same card. Obviously, the UFC is going, hey, <laughs> we're going to give the fans exactly what they want to see from October to January. So quarter four and starting off quarter one, it's going to be big for the fans, to say the least, as well as the UFC. Izzy is certainly making his case for the greatest of all time at the middleweight class and has expressed interest in lapping his division as he already wiped out the contendership once already. We saw him go up to light heavyweight to face off against Jan Blanhovic for a title fight at 205, which would have totally cemented Izzy as one of the greatest of all time. Unfortunately for him, he did lose that fight, so he decided he's gonna go back to 185. He's expressed interest in lapping the division again, which is what many of the greats have already done in the UFC. So it'll be interesting to see if one, he can pull that off, and two, what he does after that, Will he go back to try to be a double champ? Will he go down maybe? Who knows? It'll be super interesting, but hopefully they can get this fight between Izzy and Robert Whitaker scheduled in January, as well as all the other potential fights that are happening in December and January. Before I get into this, I just wanna say I'm not an expert in any of these categories. I do have my own opinions, probably not gonna express them here, but let's get into it. Moving on to the next and final topic of this video, we've got trans fighter Alana McLaughlin, who has been getting hate all over social media since her fight last weekend in Miami against Celine Provost. There definitely is a short history of female trans fighters fighting in MMA. This definitely does cause a stir of controversy as many people feel that these trans female athletes are competing against cisgendered women with an unfair advantage as they've been given the performance benefits of testosterone for the vast majority of their lives and continue to benefit from that athletically, even after transitioning and taking female hormones. I'm gonna link an article in the description below that explains the science on this better than I can, just because I'm definitely not an expert. So here's a photo of Alana McLaughlin before and after transitioning. As you can see, there's obviously a cause for concern with this topic when it comes to fighting, where injuries can be detrimental to the body and brain and can certainly be permanent. So somebody benefiting from testosterone against people who've never benefited from testosterone, there seems like an unfair advantage there, but you have the other side of the aisle where people in the trans community and supporters of the trans community feel that these people just wanna compete against the people who they feel like they are. It's certainly a tough conversation here. Hopefully there is a happy medium where all parties can find a middle ground and anybody who wants to compete can compete against each other in an appropriate manner. I certainly don't have the answer on how this should be handled. I'd like to hear what you guys think. Please make sure you don't leave any hate comments. I don't need that in my comment section. That being said, thank you guys for listening to this episode. Just wanted to get this out here. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's, we're gonna be pumping out content here. This is going to be one of the premier MMA content outlets, and uh, this is just the beginning. So get in early if you can. Be an early investor, and I promise there will be lots more to come.